it's Lynn here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now guys, this is another debugging video. Now I have my three uh, dragon fruit cacti here, known as Hylocereus, but they're commonly known as the dragon fruit cacti because they produce the most beautiful flowers and they produce the most delicious dragon fruits. And these are two, um, three different ones here, all different types of dragon, Hylocereus. Um, this one is actually one that I have, was given by um, my, my wonderful friend Susan, who lived when I used to live in Waterford. Um, she lived in a beautiful seaside town called Tramore. So hi Susan, if you're watching this video, this is your amazing um, Hilo Sirius that she actually grew from seed, guys, from a supermarket, bought uh, dragon fruit, and it's absolutely amazing. And this other one here is actually one I bought um, many years ago in Dublin as a young tiny little plant from a little plant shop and it's grown very big over the years and this one here is actually one that I grew myself from seed and these I actually made a video on how to grow a dragon fruit hylocerus from seed links up above to that video if you haven't seen the video it is so easy to grow from seed and the fruit tastes delicious guys too and um, all you have to do literally goes into, into the video on what to do, very easy and um, successfully uh, propagated as you can see. But this had came down a couple of months ago with mealybugs and I had to treat it and repot it again and dissect it. And um, I'm going to put links up above to that video as well because this is going to be as part of this video. So links up above to the video where I do a dissection on this particular dragon fruit that I grew from seed to remove the mealies. And I'm pleased to say, this is an update today, there is no sign of any mealy bug at all on this. I treated it with the isopropyl alcohol and from what I can see, there's no sign of mealy, so that's great. So other than just giving it another check over, which I've done, so far so good, so it's been a success. So I can put that one away. Now, these are the other two, as I mentioned here, now, they're healthy plants. I repotted them both last year um, into um, a good sort of epiphytic type of cactus soil, well drained. And they're very, they're healthy enough. But unfortunately, the other day, because they're hanging up in our plant room in the window, um, the one side I didn't notice, but I did notice the other day, a little bit of white cotton wool. And of course, when I got close, it's the dreaded mealy bug and um, luckily it's easy to treat on these type of plants because they're not the spiniest of plants you can easily get to them and lift them up to remove the mealies but um, what I'm going to be doing and what I always like to do in this case is use I recommend isopropyl alcohol and this is actually it's a, nat it's a natural type of remedy it's not using chemicals um, some might say alcohol is a chemical but it's still a natural a natural um, way of doing it and also no one likes to I personally don't get a thrill out of killing anything I'm actually a vegan me and Hans are vegans we don't like to kill anything we're not somebody who enjoys even killing mealy bugs or anything like that but sadly it's all about doing what you can do and when it comes to dealing with pests on your plants you can't just leave them they're not going to go on their own we always look at the most natural and humane methods of dealing with insects and so far we do have really good success with isopropyl alcohol because it kills on contact um, so unlike a lot of the spray bug killers that actually suffocate the insects over a long period of time and it's really not nice um, this is more contact and it's very good you can also mix it up into a plant spray an atomizer as well such as this i'll just show you guys such as this and you can spray it down if i'm spraying the whole plant with with isopyl alcohol i would tend to dilute it probably about 50 50 so it's more diluted but still strong enough to kill bugs but i always like to prefer to use it with cacti anyway 100% or at least 80% this is 100% isopropyl alcohol sometimes you buy it and it'd be 80% but um, if I'm dabbing it on individual parts like here where, where there's mealy bugs little deposits then I'll use it neat but if I'm having to spray the whole plant I will dilute it because it can dry out the plants and be careful if you're using it on things like echeverias and some succulents because it can sort of um, to remove the beautiful hue colouring that some of them have. So you do have to be careful with the alcohol, but I've always found it relatively safe. Now, 
obviously in extreme cases where mealy bug is so bad and it's just completely in parts where it's very difficult to remove sometimes you just have to resort to using a systemic insecticide because you can only do so much um, in this case i'm going to try and remove as much as i can with isopril alcohol if the problem persists then i will have to probably try and use a systemic in this case we use something like bug clear ultra which sadly is not a particularly humane way but like you say we do every other possible thing we can first and, and then use the other insects as a last resort. So that's what I personally would recommend to you. Plus a lot of insecticides are not safe. So let me see how we go here. Now, as I say, that's what we like to use. You can get it on eBay, Amazon, anything like that. It's quite easy to get. Um, can we sell it also, but it's cheaper to get on eBay or Amazon. And um, here, we have a little bit of a mixture, a little pink bowl, and what I do then is just dab it on. And um, I'm gonna then remove as much as I can. We'll start on this one first. And um, as you can see, there's a little bit of mealy bug here, just wipe it off. And as I said, this is a very easy plant to remove from because thankfully, it's not like some of the very spiny cacti that really in places you just can't reach. And most of these I can see. But as with mealybug particularly, as with a lot of pests, they do hide. So if I was to just go over this in the places I could see, there's no doubt they're going to be lurking in other places. So what I recommend with, with um, using the isopril alcohol is lifting every stem and checking underneath because mealybug, green fly, and all the other type of pests do hide. And um, as I say, luckily this is a plant that's easy to, easy to sort of treat. And um, I did sort of pre-check this over before I started the video and thankfully from what I can see the bugs are mainly on the top part, they're not really underneath. But um, as with everything, a lot of the time you can't see the eggs and things like that. So I'm going to see how this plant does. I'm going to keep an eye on it and as I say, if in extreme cases I can't treat the mealies and they do keep coming back, I will have to resort to a systemic, a normal insecticide sadly. But as I say, and I don't want to sound like a parrot by repeating myself, I don't really like to advertise using any type of insecticide that is a chemical by choice, but only if this doesn't work on other things. I have great success with the alcohol myself. It's brilliant. But sometimes I have had a problem with mealybug, and as you may have seen a few of my other videos, and I've had to use the chemical sprays because there's no other alternative so you just have to, when it comes to your plants, you have to just do what's the best. And, um, you know, it's just one of them things. I've, I've battled with the mealybugs over and over, and it has been a pest, I have to say. It's one of the pests of um, cacti growers and succulent growers' lives. <laughs> um, thankfully, we had to, it seemed to have got over the worst of them, that we had a bad attack of them last year. And spider mite is another one. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that too. That's even worse because you just don't see them. I mean, and it's not something you can just pick off with the alcohol like this. But that's me. I'm just really doing this because I thought, well, I've got to treat this plant. I might as well make a video on it. I've done a few on, on using the alcohol before and also with the mealy bug. So I don't need to go over the whole procedure. Just that um, basically it's important that you do make sure you reach every part and make sure you lift them stems up as well because as i say they do hide underneath and that's really it now i'm going to stop this video now and i'm going to show you when i do both of them at the end because otherwise it's going to be a very long video i need to spend a lot of time making sure i lift every single individual part of this plant up and wipe every single one of these bugs off so as you can see there's nothing underneath and it could take me a bit of a while so I'm going to stop this now and then um, show you the finished results. Now guys, that's all the plants all debugged. And as I say, the isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol is great. And it's also, um, it's also very affordable compared to a lot of the normal um, insecticides that you, you find. And it's also great for using for cleaning the house. It's brilliant for cleaning all them little things around the house. A um, few drops in water cleans the windows. It's also a great antiseptic and you can even use it on your skin as well. So it's got a multiple uses. And um, 
As I say, highly recommended. It's brilliant and an non, a non-toxic way compared to the, the nasty chemical sprays you get. And as I say, it's a much more humane way of getting rid of bugs. Um, so, so far so good. And I'm going to be giving these a good water now because they've been obviously overwintered for the winter time and now it's starting to come into spring again. I'm going to give them a water and then hopefully if we have a good summer, they'll be hanging up outside getting the fresh rainwater. So guys, thanks so much for watching and I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power. As always from Northern Ireland, until the next video guys, bye, bye.